Daisy M. Fume wins the special election for the seventh congressional seat, once held by the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. The Democratic candidate beat Republican Kimberly Klasick with more than 70% of the vote. WJZ is live. Mike Shu has more details about his victory. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lynn. And Fume calls his landslide victory uh, surreal. He says that his first order of business is to help out in the pandemic. A landslide in an unusual election. Tuesday night, the Associated Press declaring Kwaisi and Fume the winner of the 7th Congressional District's special election. He will serve out the remainder of Congressman Elijah Cummings' term, who died six months ago. I promise you that as your congressman, I will use every ability that I have to bring about that change. With 40% of the precincts reporting and Fume captured 73% of the votes compared to Republican Kimberly Klasick, who had 27. Because of the pandemic, the majority of voting was done through the mail. There were three in-person polling sites, one each in Baltimore, Howard County, and Baltimore County. Over 100,000 people voted, but in-person turnout was low. The state saying by nightfall only 830 people cast their ballot in person. Klasik says campaigning has been a challenge because of COVID-19. It's been different, you know, it's been difficult because I'm more of an in-your-face kind of person and I like to meet people one-on-one. -on -one. At Martins West, the spot to vote in Baltimore County, drivers dropped off ballots and many were wearing masks to vote inside. I felt like my um, vote would be counted and my mail, if I mailed it in, it may get misplaced in the mail. And Fume is still on the campaign trail as this election was to fill the remainder of Cummings terms. Now, Fume is running in the Democratic primary uh, in order to try to get a full term. That election is in just 34 days. I'm Mike Shue reporting live for WJZ.